and then you've got the injury part of it. It's been it's been a strange season so far, but this Memphis team day, when they're fully healthy, they're one of the best teams in the, in the Western Conference, in my opinion. He is with the team on the road trip. He's getting up shots before the game, and he's kind of acting like a coach for the team during these games while he's been out. Fallon Shun is able to guide one in, and it is an early bucket for Memphis to start this thing off. Points per possession down. Delo's actually within the realm of, of, of good play as Valanciunas should have been called for a charge there. What a great acquisition for the Memphis Grizzlies. Valanciunas, their offensive rebound numbers are really good, a lot of it because of Jonas Valanciunas. What a great acquisition for the Memphis Grizzlies. Valanciunas, their offensive rebound numbers are really good, a lot of it because of Jonas Valanciunas. Tyus Jones put into the starting lineup with John Morant out. Valanciunas unable to finish. A, a superstar player in Carl Anthony Towns. You're, you're a formidable team. And now Minnesota has three players that can all get you 25 or more. Valanciunas with the hook, able to get it to fall. Field goal shooting for the Timberwolves. Minnesota has one of the larger disparities in the league, what they shoot at home versus the road. Aaron and Gomez for three. That won't help the percentage. They shoot 47% at home. Valanciunas slows one up, a little bit too strong. That will be a mid-range jumper for him the next time. Valanciunas will try for three. Minnesota, 22nd in the league, shooting 44.5%. They're forcing 15 and a half turnovers a game. That's fifth in the league. Mm. And Jonas Valanciunas, great move, but unable to finish. Or get a three here tonight. Excuse me, Ali has her twos. Valanciunas leaves it short. That's what bigs are going to do. So, you know, it's it's the counter to the arm bar. And you know what? I, I think you got to do it back to him. If you're going to get arm bar in, in, in a low post situation. How often did you use that move? Towns going right at oh. Valanciunas. Oh. Towns going right at oh. Valanciunas. Oh. First points of the game for Kogi. And Minnesota back in front. Both teams out of fouls to give. The Grizzlies go two for one here, partner. Tyus Jones going quickly. Goes at Towns off the high glass. No, Valanciunas. Boy, Jonas. Grizzlies two for one. Yep, yeah. Exactly. Tyus. Valanciunas, the offensive rebound. Got a couple of cracks at it. None of them drop. Grizzlies two for one. Yep, yeah. Exactly. Tyus. Valanciunas, the offensive rebound. Got a couple of cracks at it. None of them drop. Grizzlies two for one. Yep, yeah. Exactly. Tyus. Oh. Valanciunas, the offensive rebound. Got a couple of cracks at it. None of them drop. It was fun. Well, the other thing you mentioned, Jim, was the rebounding edge for the Wolves and a decisive rebounding edge at that as Valanciunas gets it to go. Timberwolves won the rebound battle against San Antonio. They had been 0-5 in games in which they out-rebounded the opponent before the win against San Antonio the other day. Usually you win the rebound battle, you, yeah. you got a better chance to win, not 0-5. It's, it's one you got to keep on chipping away at. You, you, Minnesota's had a problem rebounding. Wow, what a strip by Josh Kogi. What did D'Lo say after the win the other night when he did the post-game interview? As Brooks unable to get it to go, Valanciunas puts it back up and in, though. What did D'Lo say after the win the other night when he did the post-game interview? As... Brooks unable to get it to go. Valanciunas puts it back up and in, though. Dilo was very talkative the other night after the win. He then stuck around to talk to a number of the media members on Zoom. And Kogi, first team foul on Minnesota. Jones. Valanciunas trying to keep it alive. And finally gets it. To get nail held, to get off the slot player, you pitch it to him and then you make a play. Tyus, no. Down, yeah, batted it. Just a monster. He just is too big. Oh, my gosh. Tom 
Bruins unable to finish. Here come the Grizzlies looking to tie it up or go in front. He just is too big. Towns unable to finish. Here come the Grizzlies looking to tie it up or go in front. I just don't like the look. You know, like to, to it's kind of like what Anthony Davis did in, 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 in uh, New Orleans. We've seen the Grizzlies come in here over the years and be beat up by injuries and put guys on the floor where we're looking down at the number to see who the guy is. Valanchunas back up and in. We've seen the Grizzlies come in here over the years and be beat up by injuries and put guys on the floor where we're looking down at the number to see who the guy is. Valanchunas back up and in. We've seen the Grizzlies come in here over the years and be beat up by injuries and put guys on the floor where we're looking down at the number to see who the guy is. Valanchunas back up and in. We've seen the Grizzlies come in here over the years and be beat up by injuries and put guys on the floor where we're looking down at the number to see who the guy is. Valanchunas back up and in. He's just, just racking up the rebounds by missing shots point blank. He's got another double-double, his ninth of the season. And we're going to foul here. He's going on down there with Valanchunas. We are leaving Rubio open. There's a, he's a short closeout. Beasley forces one up. There's a, he's a short closeout. Beasley forces one up, and here come the Grizz. Chance to get it to a single possession game. Dylan Brooks. Of course that goes in. Russell. Rubio. And that's the guy the Grizzlies want shooting the ball with all the other shooters out there. Ryan Saunders gets Carl Anthony Towns back on the floor. Towns finds Aaron on Gomez. No. Kobe's going to come back to the game here for Minnesota as well. Brooks for Valanchunas. And Valanchunas. Offensive. Oh, they are going to call the offensive yeah. foul. Kobe's going to come back to the game here for Minnesota as well. Brooks for Valanchunas. And Valanchunas, offensive. Oh, they are going to call the offensive yeah. foul. This is where Minnesota's got to roll now. Try to get some momentum back in their favor. Great Ru screen by Towns. Russell, no. Clark spins on Aaron on Gomez, but ran right into Towns. Valanchunas, though, right there to pick it up. To stay with Valanchunas and Brandon Clark, the Grizzlies, a good job using that size. Clark with 19. Grizzlies lead is nine. It's their largest. Russell draws a foul. Valanchunas with a reach. And Tayshawn Prince, and they've just done a great job drafting and acquiring talent. So. Anderson for Valanchunas. That's a new season high for Valanchunas with 22. Jones for Valanchunas, rattles in. Grayson Allen and Taylor Jenkins. So the Grizzlies do not lose that timeout, obviously, because they win the challenge. And then Valanchunas wins the jump.